Hi, can I please get uh, five gas reps on four? Mm-hmm, thank you. God, my bike's tip got all janky and got gas ropes all over it. Can help us home? <laughs> That's not a big deal. How about helps? Yeah, no problem. Oh yeah, no problem. Have a good day, okay? Jesus is mucho bueno. Okay, have a good day, okay? <laughs> Gotta sing my good old song on the road again. Just can't wait to get on that road again. Look, guys, don't say California don't get snow. Look at all that snow, bitch. Guys, it's been pretty damn depressing not having the Suzuki for the past couple weeks. <laughs> I've been having all kinds of hankerings for some off-road action. Man, the 91 freeway sucks the most massive fucking whale cock, like blue whale cock. So this episode of my Moto Vlog Adventures is uh, going to basically be my most craziest motorcycle moments I've ever had that I can think of off the top of my dickhead. And those of you who ride a long time or have ridden quite a while or even probably have ridden even a little bit have probably had some sort of terrifying and or stupid moment with at least other drivers is what I mean. Or even when it's something stupid you did. I've done plenty of stupid things that almost killed me. You live and you learn and you just gotta hope you continue to be able to live when you learn from certain mistakes. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's up with this guy's blinker, but I don't want to be behind him. And the only one I have that's on the top of my dig head is fucking, uh... What I've mentioned in the older motor vlog was, uh... When I had my old Ninja 500, I had this old beat, bought for a thousand dollars, Ninja 500. They had fucking, like, no side fairings. It was a 1988. So fucking sketchy of a bike that the previous owner had a, a, the starter switch wired into the tail, under the tail. So all you had to do was put the key on and then touch the button under the, it was like some fucking AutoZone switch button. And you just plus, touch the button and it would turn the motor over. And start so i had that bike and what's surprisingly as it is for an old piece of shit bike that's fucking from the 80s that thing actually never broke down on me one time or overheated or nothing so you know cowie makes some good ass fucking shit same with this bike hitting almost you know i'm gonna show you Ooh. no can't do that here to ride in a little higher rev lane split and then uh, let's let's people hear you and with my pipe bouncing off their walls it helps out a little more see helped out right there little piece of yellow rope floating around right there some caution rope <laughs> Fucking shooting caution ropes all over the fucking freeway. Oh yeah, back to my little stowie. Um, uh, like I was on this, I was on my old Ninja 500, all reliable, and uh, hey, thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. And uh, I was going through this intersection. I'm actually passing it at of all things right here, and this is by this golf course out here, and I believe it's Colton or Grand Terrace, one of these two. 
And anyways, I'm in this like four lane road and I'm going like, you know, 50, to, it's a 50 lane, mile an hour lane or, or 55 or some shit. And I go through this lane and all of a sudden this yellow Penske truck goes to turn right. Like I'm going this way, he's going this way. And this motherfucker straight pull, pulls out like this as just as I'm hitting the intersection. And I straight had to lock up my fucking brakes and skid. And you know, this is my, like, my first like year or so riding and um, and this th I actually almost rear-ended this asshole because uh, he pulled out in front of me and I went beside him and I was like dude did you not see me what the fuck and he just starts laughing about it and that I can't lie that enraged me so bad because it was a, such a blind careless shitty move that literally almost killed me <laughs> you know if, if I wasn't paying attention literally one full Mississippi second and longer I would have been a cream pie in the back of that fucking Penske truck's asshole deep inside of it. So that was my one motorcycle moment I have to say that always sticks out in my head that kind of gave me my little phobia of people pulling out on me on intersections. That's why very rarely, if never at all, I'll ever go fast in a, in a street where there's like cross intersections because you never know when someone's going to run a red light, pull out in front of you, not see you. You know, that's why if I'm going fast, it'll be in a, a straight line kind of road. That way I don't have to really worry about uh, people pulling out from the side. It's a little pro tip, but it's kind of common sense. But. <laughs> should be riding safely anyways. Kind of like a do as I say, not as I do kind of thing. My motorcycle is like a tool at this point in my life. It's like, it's like a vital thing that I know how to use like the back of my hand, if you know what I mean. C.H. Pizzle pulling on more times that, or multiple times, were times where I turn on streets that have those kind of like, they're like drainage kind of deals, but they kind of, they're super slick when they're wet. I've had many times where, my, where I'm turning and my rear end goes like this and I catch it and kind of almost high side myself. And you kind of have to lift up and gas it if you can catch it in time. That's what I had to at least do. And, uh, or at least catch it on time to at least help grip it. <laughs> You just can't gun it through little things like that, wet spots. And I've had lots of moments like that, and like that's one thing you don't want to learn from that from a crash. I think I've even had a question or comment if I've ever hit mirrors lane splitting. It's actually happened to me I think once, and it was like a nick where it didn't even hurt mine or the car's mirror. Just a little up tap. A bike like this, I don't have mirrors hanging off the sides, so it's kind of like if my arms can fit, the bike's gonna fit kind of deal. There's no rear pegs or nothing. So this bike is pretty much as wide as I am kind of deal with my legs and my arms and whatnot. I have one moment also on my Ninja 500. These little grooves in the street, there's one, or in the freeway, there's one on the 91 that's like this wide, and I hit it on the exit, and it actually made me have the wobbles for a good two, three Mississippi seconds, and that scared the living shit out of me. It made my heart come out of my asshole. But that's another thing you gotta watch out for when you're riding. Have I uh, have had all kinds of debris? Oh, I've been having old video that I don't even think a lot of you've probably seen of a pigeon fucking hitting me. I was riding on the 91, and I'm going like this, is riding along, just chilling, and a pigeon. I'm going like 91. This pigeon goes like this. You can see his wings flap, and he just fucking slams right into my damn knee. <laughs> It hurt like a bitch. It felt like somebody threw a fastball of a baseball at my kneecap. It hurt so damn bad. And he just like obliterated and I looked back and he was just like convulsing on the ground and shaking and shit. I felt bad for the little fucker. Oh shit. Get on 
my two ten. Looks like an R1. That dual ass pipe. And I should only have to get on this freeway. I like those R ones. I've had flat tires on motorcycles and shit, but thankfully they are always slow speeds and I noticed it because you know you start feeling the, the bike getting really loose. Because the bike is usually tighter tighter than a nun's asshole when it's handling when the when the tire pressure is proper and you have good tires and whatnot. But um I got had that happen, which were really close calls because flat tire will fuck your day up big time. You know, people pull them out in front of me. If you've watched my videos enough, man, you'll fucking know that I don't even need to speak about how many times that shit fucking happens. And those of you that ride, you know, that shit's probably the number one damn occurrence. People on their fucking phones. It's, it, it gets pretty shitty. Ooh, what the fuck happened here? Why is it all fired? What the hell is going on here? Oh, shit. Oh, ladies are you okay you guys okay are you guys okay oh okay are you guys okay what's wrong with the car damn what's up the hill yeah up the hill Let me see it real quick. Oh, yeah. You guys didn't move anything, did you? Let me see the key real quick. Is it in there? Uh, be careful of the cars. Don't stand out. Let's see what's up with the shit. Let's see some. Okay. It's twiddling the. Uh... Oh, I can hear something. It's like a fucking fizzle. I wouldn't know what the fuck that is. I wish I was more mechanically inclined. I, it sounds like, it sounds like it's like might be the battery. I'm not. Let me see the battery. Hold on, let me. It should be. Do you have any tools by chance or a pliers? All right, that one's good. Oh yeah, this terminal's loose right here. I think that might be what it is. I actually bought this thing called a Wallet Ninja. Let's see if we can't get this shit to tighten this motherfucker. Hello. All right, let's see. Can any part of this fucking fit in there? Let's see. If we can, just need to spin enough to tighten it. I'll tell you what. Go in, go in the car and try to start it. And I'm gonna make. I'm gonna see if it's this terminal. I'm gonna shake it while you try to start it. Okay. All right. Keep. Try again. Try one more time. Try again. All right. I think that might be it. Either that, or it's definitely this. Ch this thing's too loose. I'll right, go ahead. Yeah, just when they get here, I hope they'll be able to call some a tow truck. I don't, I don't have AAA or else I'd be able to call it for you. I'm sorry about that. Just be careful of the cars because they'll, they'll just make sure they don't hit, hit you or nothing. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Have a good day. Okay. I'll see you guys later. goodness what fucking shit happened to me it's 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 kind of like a daily basis shit with some of that stuff but i'm curious to know what your guys' top moments that scared the shit out of you on your motorcycles close calls dumb moments with other people etc etc 
lose those wet spots I was talking about just like that. That's a perfect example. Those little drainage wet spots will fuck you up, man, if you don't take it easy. I think this right here is the one I used to fuck up on right here. Shit's like a fucking slippery wet JJ. So if you guys got any scary moments, bitch, the crosswalk's right here. share your moments and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also don't forget to hit the <laughs> out of that like button and you guys have a oh, good day see you guys see you later Hey! <laughs>